Oh, holy jump, but it's cold this morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Merry Christmas and a happy holidays to everyone. There's a really nice family that lives about five, six kilometers away from here on the way into town. Really nice folks, still splits wood the old way with an ax. And I've got this fancy new splitter I'm trying out and he's got some pretty big maple rounds. Thought maybe we could save him a little bit of work over the holidays. Let's go split some wood. Cheers. to head over to help him out. Got some really big maple rounds. You've seen me use this split fire a couple of times now. We've done ash, maple, we've done a little bit of elm, but they're all, you know, I think probably the largest diameter is around 18, 19 inches. This split fire has got a couple of options, which I would call trailering options. As I mentioned to you before, there's a lot of different options you can customize on their splitters. This one in particular that I've got behind the truck, it's got a brake and a signal light package on it. Although I don't need that here in Ontario, there are some provinces and some states, as well as other countries where you need to have a light kit. Like most splitters, you can get it standard with an axle and just a set of bearings. This one has an upgrade. It's got a four bolt hub and it's got larger tires. nice option that this unit came with is a 24 inch tongue extension for the trailer hitch. Especially having that hydraulic table, having that extra 24 inches on the tongue helps to give it a little more distance behind the truck. It makes it easier for cornering and for backing up. It can take a little bit sharper corners. The consumer grade splitters that I've had to date can be towed behind a car or behind an ATV but usually at low speeds. This split fryer unit actually can safely be towed at more than 100 kilometers an hour, which means I can drag it across the highway. I understand that if you're in some certain U.S. states or some provinces in Canada, as well as probably other places, I understand that if you're going to tow a splitter behind your truck, you need to register it and you actually have to plate it. So each one of these split fryer units has its own vehicle identification number stamped right on the side. got some pretty good sized maple rounds here that we can play with today. I brought the can hook along because I'm going to see if I can get through this without having to bend over and lift these things by hand.
you know, Split Fire's doing really well today with these huge maple rounds. And I'll tell you, they weigh a ton. Because this time of year, those logs are wet, and now they're frozen. But the table lifts them up no problem. It's actually almost easier to just roll them on by hand than it is to use the cant hook. So good for the back. And they're splitting through them really easy today. But mind you, when they're frozen like that, good powerful splitter will pop through them no problem. A couple of folks asked about the channel and whether or not a lot of debris gets caught in the channel and I have to clear it out. But I don't actually. It kind of self-cleans itself. Let me show you the front. You're looking at the front of the splitter. This is the extension to the trailer hitch. As I'd mentioned to you before in another video, the inside cylinder assembly is covered in a very slippery polymer and it sits in tight against the actual frame of the splitter. So as you're pushing through the wood, it just keeps pushing all of this debris out the front of the frame. Got a couple of the big rounds to finish up. I'm gonna stack them, I'm gonna head home, maybe find something that'll warm me up a little bit inside. Something with a little eggnog. It's really nice, I found a couple of pieces of cherry as well. So with the split fire, we split ash, maple, a little bit of bass, not the best for firewood, but hey, it burns. And we've also done cherry, and we've done some big rounds, done some elm. She's doing really well so far, really enjoying the splitter. I love the fact that I can haul this thing down the road or down the highway and not worry about my speed. It's really nice just to be able to throw it on the pickup and go. Pull up, start splitting, drop them off and head down the highway again. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it today. If I don't see you again before the big day, I wish you and your families all the best over the holidays and a very Merry Christmas. All the best. We'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.